Hey champions, good afternoon. Well, it's almost afternoon. Welcome to my page, Cat Surrender to Love. Cat here, Cat Surrender to Love Inspirations. Cat here with you just to give you some additional encouragement, inspiration, and confidence. Yup, I want us to work together. Hey, if you like any of the information that is being shared on this page, take a look at the previous videos. Look at the Surrender to Loves as well. I pray that you enjoy every single bit of it. If you are, if you have, please subscribe do not forget to subscribe to my page thank you thank you thank you like my page love my page comment on my page hey and also touch that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever a video is uploaded right here i'm coming to you live just trying to um help to Come together with you in a manner that helps to be beneficial to your spiritual wellness, to your mental wellness, and to our emotional selves, right? So right now we're on that train that's talking about and expounding on emotional control. And it is Friday. How have you been doing with containing your emotions, right? And not even containing, but gaining peace within yourself. I want to hear from you. Tell me what it is that you're going through. Tell me what it is that um, that you're doing. What kind of strategies and tips do you use yourself to um, maintain your self-control, to maintain behavioral control, to keep yourself at peace and at rest? Sometimes it's music. Sometimes it's prayer. Sometimes it's faith-based sometimes it's not hey let me know what you are doing i am interested i want to know and i am curious you know some things about me and whatever else you'd like to know please let me know comment and look keep it pg keep it appropriate please and i will surely respond back to you my email is trina w at awesomeguardradio.com i look forward to working with you so we still want to stay in the vein and on the train, on that train, right, of emotional control and discussing how we can keep, obtain, and keep emotional control as a part of um, a part of ourselves, right? Because our behaviors are steeped in our emotions and how we feel about ourselves, about other people, about how we're being treated, and other things like that. Now, there have been several videos that I have posted, or a few, I'll say a few, because several typically means more than three, or at least more than five. So, about three or so videos have already been posted, um, and I don't want to be too repetitious in them. So, please, if you'd like to go back, please review what I've already posted concerning emotional control and some tips that there some tips that may be helpful to you or helpful to someone else um let's remember we are not in this alone half of the stuff that we go through more than half that we go through it's not even just for us it's for other people as well so that we can share so that we can have like a community of sharing so we can grow and um learn and grow from one another because your experience is just as important as mine um and i do welcome that and i recognize that right and it didn't come all of us you know it didn't come all of a sudden and those aren't things that we are readily um, available to admit but on that train of emotional control um, and now a, almost a week has gone by Saturday tomorrow right we'll make a full week that's gone by um, and we're speaking on emotional control so let me know how you're doing uh, what you're doing to uh, bring yourself to a calm and peaceful um, place right we talked about maybe we have to bypass some people we definitely have to um, look look beyond what we may be doing change some routines that we might have some environments that we might be in because all of those things feed into who we are, what we think, what we remember, what we recall, um, and it touches our it touches us emotionally in the most. Um, it's, it's so quiet. It's so quiet and we don't even realize it that it's taking an effect. The things that we hear, the things that we see, the things that we do, and then just being in an environment that produces certain things has a way of of us obtaining those kind of feelings those kind of feelings and we can react out of that now not that your environment dictates who you are because that's definitely far from the truth that's when we have to write we can rise above the situations that we in we're in the environments that we were in we are able as we are so uniquely and divinely created we are able to rise above those things and not be the totality of where we are 
or what we've been through. I am so excited for you. So I'm praying that um, right now that you are just in on that train of trying to find ways. And if you if you are having moments of of not being in control, I was say of uncontrolledness. That's not a word, but of having less control then we want to find ways to calm down right we want to find ways uh, and there are things that we can do steering away from people um uh reading more gaining more information and look in my mind i'm like the more i the more i read of things it pushes that other stuff out that just doesn't have a place in me anymore or that i wish for it to be put on the back burner or the back seat and for other information to to take precedence in my mind right i want these other things that are more beneficial to my wealth to my spiritual health and well-being to my mental health and well-being and my psychological state right because we all have pangs and angs and isms and stuff like that but we don't have to be controlled by them you guys we, we are um getting upset and irate with other people because we don't agree we gotta talk things out sit down and talk things out we gotta have those hard discussions and it's not easy to um make yourself available to somebody in that way vulnerable that's the word but it does have to be done even if you have to write it out in a letter because it's not easy to say face to face eye to eye you know staying toe to toe with somebody and admit some things about yourself maybe we can write it down that has worked for some people that i have worked with some clients that i've had previous in the past that has worked write it down and and give it to them and you don't even have to be there um with them while they're reading it that's just a way to break break it down a little bit um because we want to get past the feeling of shame we want to get past the feeling of of the woundness that we might feel in going to somebody and expressing ourselves in such a vulnerable manner um whether and then the language then can be um can be catered to whatever it is that you're talking about it doesn't have to be a forceful thing um but it's just letting you know we're just we're discussing this and you're reading on the paper how i feel this is this is me right here so it's a vulnerability that we do place ourselves in at times whenever we're trying to eat address our feelings our emotions um what we may be going through and it can be tough yes indeed it can be tough but these are discussions that we do have to have um we we need to look for ways to to sit and communicate with one another whether it's face-to-face -face communication or whether it's zoom or you know just like this via video or live stream or whatever have you or it can be by um by paper we don't do that that much now right we don't write things down that much or write letters so that may be something that helps you especially if you've been working and nothing seems to work for you in that area of maintaining your um maintaining your emotions or or having control of your emotions and of your feelings you may try writing things down writing things down it could be in a journal style or it could just be a letter to a particular person that may help you and you just may write the letter and put it in your drawer or something like that but it's important to get feelings out the things that we're feeling out in a healthy manner instead of them coming out in this forceful way that's filled with rage that's filled with anger fear violence and in a lot of cases that's what it is so we want to get these emotions outside of us it could be on paper um that you write a letter Put it in your drawer for when you are ready. This, for a lot of people, it's just, it's, it's so much harder for some people than others. And I recognize that. I understand that. And um, I am, I, I just, I have a sensitivity in my heart for that because people sometimes don't know how to express themselves. They aren't given the tools um, to readily and be available to express themselves in a way that it's not taking offense and things like that. And it's like, I'm not in charge of your feelings anyway. And no, we're not. We want to be in control of ourselves. So that's what the final outcome that we want to think of is to be in control of ourselves, in control of our emotions and not let other people dictate to us how we are going to feel about ourselves about the situation about what they have said to us that maybe wounded us that maybe 
um, I don't know, inflicted some fear or in inflicted some reservations concerning a certain situation. So that is another tidbit to take with you, to add to your toolbox. Prayerfully, it will help you, especially if you try other things and they haven't. You're not a journal writer. You don't like to write things down, you know, because it becomes, I don't know, um, verbatim verbatim to you or it could become in a storytelling manner and hey maybe there is a story in there maybe there's a book in there but you may just be able to um to write it down in letter form put it away and then uh give it out when the time is right think on it meditate on it pray on it whatever that looks like for you when the time is right it may be immediate that you may have to write your feelings out um and social media isn't the best place to do that if i could just impart some additional wisdom to writing things out social media isn't the best place for that some people do it but it's not the best place to do it um the best place is on paper and to the individual if you have the opportunity and if that's within you um your process follow your process and what works for you that those are or that those and that are tidbits that I'm going to leave with you today. If you like any of this material, if you have found it useful, please subscribe to my page. Please share it and leave me your comments. Let me know how you feel, what you're thinking, and some additional tips and tools that you use that I haven't mentioned. I will see you guys on tomorrow at 11.30. Hey, check us out on the Good Life Gospel Show on Awesome Guard Radio. Download that app awesome god radio and subscribe to my channel i thank you so much and i wish you the absolute best